I'm telling everybody that's a girl, uh, uh, do not copy this behavior. This is a violation of professional boundaries. This behavior may comprise the professional image and standards expected from educators and inappropriate content for the intended audience. This is inappropriate content. I'm going to say this again because the students and the other viewers may be exposed to content that is not age appropriate in line with educational norms. Remember, she's a teacher. So the young people will be watching that she teaches at school. She's not teaching older guys. So the, the, the little kids will be watching this and the people from her community will be watching this every little, because obviously, you know, every kid right now is on YouTube displaying this kind of nudity, you know, being half naked in public may be seen as inappropriate. Did you know the value of bathing? Do you, the value of bathing privacy. Did you know the privacy value of bathing during bad thing. Yes, boy. So, congressman requested the boy to get ready to take shower, and it's a cold shower, boy. Did you know the value of privacy during bathing, especially in the river? So, congressman requested the boy. Already? Okay, mom, show them. So, the, okay, congrats. congrats, mom is undressing to get ready to take shower. And it's a cold shower, very beautiful Woo! shower. Oh, no, you did not show me. This is the part that I didn't know about old women that are teachers showing their body. She told the boys to go away while she's stripping her clothes off. But the video, we can see, anybody can see, every boy, every man can see the video. It's so chasing the boys away and still strip and uh, putting the video up there and uploading it. Everybody's still going to see it. It is important to respect wet. It is important to respect cultural diversity and avoid making assumptions about practices that may may not exist in specific communities nonetheless i will provide you with some general reasons why value on privacy during taking a shower bathing or if you are a teacher a special theological teacher you should not do this so let's go here is number one many african cultures have specific customs and norms regarding modesty and privacy bathing in front of men and boys or taking a shower may be considered culturally or culturally inappropriate or disrespectful Do you guys agree with me or do you guys say no it's acceptable for women and a girl to bath in a petticoat or underskirts and a bra especially when you're old or a teacher or anybody in a kind of a leadership for bad thing i just i'm just speaking on, on the camera number two it would be considered disrespectful and inappropriate for them to expose themselves in public spaces such as rivers, YouTube, any social media platform in a naked uh, with the underwears such as bra and a petticoat or underskirts would be seen as a private and intimate activity. This is the intimate, especially older women like this, like people from other age group. Hmm. Preserve community harmony. Please preserve community harmony. Do you guys agree to this? Do you think it's okay to preserve community harmony by not taking chances for the clickbits? You know, participating in activities that could cause discomfort, like posting such video that requires to be deleted immediately. 
may be viewed as disruptive and contrary to maintaining social harmony. Unwanted attention, women and girls who goes who strip themselves, especially old ladies and teachers who strip and leave their underwear, such as petticoat or underskirts and the bras. Harassment, you know, people will be viewing this. It's an insult. An, an, ins an, uh, an insult. An insult. To your own community. What's going on with me? We need to inherit values that guide personal behavior. When especially when you publish the video, I mean, what does it mean? You chase the boys, then you still remain with your video on YouTube where everybody's gonna view it. Others gonna view it. This is contrary to African principles. Four ages may face societal judgment. No matter how much uh, how much is acceptable in your culture to be uh, wearing underwears, the society will judge you. You should remember, for female teachers especially, it is important to maintain your professional demeanor and abide by ethical boundaries and appropriate behavior. That is true. Do you guys agree? Oh, you disagree with me. See here, black beauty. Uh, just to check if I can find something from there. I think that black beauty comes here. It pops out. Here's a black beauty video. Then I clicked on the videos. Let's just check. Look for this. Labraska, Labraska. Like mother, like. <laughs> like mother, or like mother, like daughter. Just put it the way you know is the right one. <laughs> Oh. Guys, I cannot show you the video like this. I think the, the, the person I commented here is by the name of Gesurai Uter. So this family, okay, she, he, this person, he or she says, this family reminds of an old USA television series called Beverly Hills. Hills or Beverly Hilly Billies, I guess, yeah. Beverly Hilly Billies. The family lived in a village like setting and ran into some money problems. When they found the oil in their backyard, they moved it to the rich section of town in a big- they moved The show is about the odd behavior of uh, a family with a lot of money, but comfortable only in a village or peasant setting. Thanks for your, uh, I guess it ends here. I don't know if you wait that is uh, more. Uh, yeah, it ends there. Thanks. Definitely, this is not a good behavior, and I will show you why. So let's watch. Don't practice this in your culture because YouTube is being watched by many people across the world. So if this is acceptable in the uh, in the village where I don't know the name of the village or the country. If it's acceptable over there, it's not acceptable everywhere. So everybody's watching YouTube all over the world. One hundred, especially for somebody who's a religious or um, theological teacher and old lady who has children and a husband. So let's watch. On. Posted the boy. So already. Show them. So, so here you are. The old lady is promoting this, and she says uh show them show them show the whole world how contrary this is you chase the boys but you are still saying and screaming show them show them that i'm naked you know so let's see congrats mom is andre to get ready to take shower so here you are the evidence of undressing so what is undressing define undressing especially when it comes to you know um naked so when i say she is naked there you go somebody describes it as an you know undressing if you are undressing it means you are becoming naked what is the opposite of that undressing is to cover yourself up you know what is the you know the opposite of covering yourself up or dressing up is to become naked that's what it means girls and women old ladies do not do this but how do you avoid this listen to me this is a betraying the trust and expectations of students and followers why am i using the words students because she is a teacher she is openly violating the professional and the ethical standards for educators let me 
tell you something. She is a teacher. She's old. She has three, four kids. She has four kids. She has a husband. She's in the river. I don't think that's safe. That's all. For all educators and teachers across the world, and you know, even for old ladies out there, you are undermining the credibility and integrity of theological school where you are teaching and even YouTube itself and exploiting this kind of a religious knowledge that you have, the teachings that you teach for your sensationalizing, you know, all these nakedness so that you have a clickbait. Is this okay? Do you guys agree? You are confusing viewers and the followers about the true message of the religious teaching by, you know, undressing. I don't know. It works out, I guess, you know, with the, you know, YouTube, but exposing oneself to online harassment. And now I'm here to warn a woman and a girl and to teach a woman and a girl to end for bullying people, even the viewers themselves, making a mocker of your body and every, please guys, you know, this is kind of a cyber bullying, promoting it. Are you able to see? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Everybody go out there. You're going to see this video is there. If they go wrong, if they do such things, we need to advise them that this is not really good at all. It is important, as I said, to respect the cultural diversity. I don't know if you guys understand this. It is important to remember that these reasons are general observation and do not apply to every African culture. It's accepted in Kenya, as you can see, for her to undress, as you have heard the lady there, the culture, you need to be modest. Comfort and relaxation, this I'm saying, the privacy allows the individual to feel more comfortable and relaxed and promoting sense of peace and tranquility through this is not to be copied guys don't boys and girls men and women do not jump into the rivers this is not a river it's a stream but don't copy this and jump into the river and try to copy imitate this because the rivers can especially the big rivers and lakes and oceans they're not safe to be taking a bath you need because remember if you are bathing like this in the rivers and oceans and you know lakes and streams you are, as especially old lady, you are exposing your stretch marks. You are exposing scars. You are exposing wrinkles. You are exposing uh, the stomach, the belly. You are exposing the thighs. You are exposing the breast in you know, all shape. You are exposing your, you know, your legs. You are exposing all these things. I especially certain cultural rituals don't don't practice this. You know, they are actually in a secluded, sacred, I mean, bad things like a sacred space, it needs a sacred spaces that is accessible for certain individuals. That's why in the bathroom, only one person should be, she wants to see herself in a, it's not like she wants to see herself. She wants to make sure that it's a recording and every, there's a coverage from the. Oh, I come closer. I'm not able to see myself there. Can you? Uh, come closer. Let me come. So the whole idea, you know, people speaking politically, basically it's about come closer so that I can, people can see me. That's what it means. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, you guys who support this, and I don't think this is a good thing to, to ever happen, but, um, for, you know, I don't have a problem in nowhere it's that Congress mom goes to the river, shower herself, you know, and do all things. Where I have problem is that Congress mom going to the river, shower herself. Even Congress mom was putting her in all the important places. It is yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is the place. Yes, yeah, that's where I'm able to see myself. Oh. Honestly speaking, even the first video I made with Congress mom and Joy, I was happy for her to go out and enjoy herself. I don't have that. Where I have problem is that for Congress mom videoing this thing and showing the whole world just because of YouTube. She chased the boys. She didn't receive that. She chased the guys, but the video is public. Uh, you know, uh, show them, show them. Can you show me? Can I see myself? Money. You know, I always tell you guys in some part of life or some things in life, we need to have our dignity.
uh, people should not watch this video and the way she portrayed herself lying when I back in on the on the so-called river. It's not safe. I'm warning everybody out there, don't watch that video and don't copy anything uh, for discretion. So as you can get see, up, get up, get up. Get up. Yeah. these guys uh, were drowning, you know, this, uh, this cannot be tolerated, you know. Uh, that's why I say, you know, besides the morals and everything else, uh, it's not immorally correct because many people have drowned, many kids have drowned, you know, uh, on the in the river. And as you can see in this video here, uh, the people are drowning, and this cannot be condoned. That's why I said that video cannot be condoned. So if the kids are watching that video, do not go because the rivers are not they don't have the same size, you know, pretending or according or uh, depending on the country that you are coming from it and i think we need to give her advice and do not cyber bully her give her advice not to do that again and not to show that and to take down that video that's how i'm going to end this guys welcome back to the channel and see you guys next time uh i am out of here look away look away kids don't watch the video all right goodbye bye right, guys nice watching you know and i have to say i am out of here Oh, no. no, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, no, just... <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Just a desire for attention or focus on self promotion as opposed to educational content. This, I'll repeat, this is not educational content. I repeat, this is not educational content. I repeat, this is a self promotion. I repeat, this is a self promotion. Spit. She just spit on the river. She, she did, I think. Guys, boys and girls, don't jump into the river. The rivers around the world have killed or uh, have killed many people. Don't lie down on the river. You can find snakes. The water can be bad. This is just for financial gain. You know, this is. Go and subscribe to my cousin. Uh, my cousin is behind the camera, guys. She's called Tina Marwa. Well, my name is within now, but I mean, I don't want anybody to cyber bully this lady. Um, but we need to educate her and educate her family, you know. We oh my god, did she just? I think we should do a, a look away challenge, you know, a look away challenge. Uh, a boy and a girl, please make sure the youth uh take care of them and teach them. Um, the ethics are not dead, etiquettes are not dead, okay. Uh, respect is not dead, all right? Norms are not dead. Uh, morals are not dead. Okay, right? Yes. Don't have love. Did she? She's like, what? So, guys, how old is she? What's she doing? Hey, hey. What's going on? Even the lady says, hey, hey. Look away. Look away, kid. Look away. Look away, kid. What do you think? Comment. Look away challenge. Look away challenge. Look away challenge. Don't don't watch this part. Uh, look away. Yes, don't practice this. Wherever you are, don't practice this.